I'm Rick with ABJ Drones. We received our M200 um, on uh, Monday of last week, and we waited to uh, open it up so we could do a proper unboxing video for you. Um, uh, so let's begin. So this is a box that comes in. Uh, it's just a normal FedEx cardboard box. And try to take this out. This is what it looks like. When you take it out of it, it's got some foam padding. Uh, looks like that might be the uh, for the uh, vision sensors calibration plate. Some nice foam support so it doesn't get damaged in transit. Um, two more of those in the box. But other than those, the cardboard box is pretty empty. And this is the only piece besides the actual carrying case that is extra. Let's see. Yeah. I'll bring this up over. Let's see what's in here. Yep. This is the calibration plate for the vision system. Now, like a lot of DJI products, they have this paper surround on it so you know that it wasn't open before it got to you. So I'm going to try to take it off without ripping, but just going to need to use the knife. Take that off. And that worked out. So there's a little plastic on the handle. We can pull that off since this is going to be for our own use. And then it's a zipper. So we'll flip that over. The case is a nice size. Um, actually, it's not too heavy. Surprisingly light compared to some of the other cases. And actually we received word from DJI today that this is a... Uh, this continued case, um, DJI is going to be sending us a brand new case that is going to have buckle claps on it, um, like the Inspire 2 case and the, uh, some of the other newer cases that they have for the Matri series, um, uh, because they, just to get a beefier option. This is similar to the Inspire 1 case. So if we open this up, it opens up much like the Inspire 1 case did, and I'll lift this up. Get the feet over here on this side. You've got your, sp your spare props up top, which looks like the Velcro came undone in transit. Uh, more spare props, more spare props, and then your whole system there. So on this side of it, you got one pair, another pair of props, third pair of props, and a fourth pair of props. So you get two full sets of propellers. In the top, like I said, you have the feet that are required for the unit. These feet are made out of carbon fiber. Feel really light. Um, uh, so there will be some assembly required with this unit, which we will feature in another video. Over on this side, we'll take out the controller. The controller, very similar um, uh, in looks to the Inspire 2 controller. Um, looks almost identical, actually. Uh, don't see any difference. That's the controller. Then we have the AC cable for the charging hub. Power adapter, it's right here. And then what we also have before you now is the uh, actual hub itself that will charge two of the TB50 or and hopefully in the future, though we do not have confirmation on it, the TB55 batteries, it charges two at a time. So it's not gonna charge all four at once, but it will charge two at a time. 
the charge time on the uh, TB50s is 90 minutes per pair. If you have four batteries plugged into that, it's going to be in 180 minutes. These are the two TB50 batteries. These are an update from the TB50 batteries that exist for the Inspire 2. These have the waterproof, the same waterproof rating that the M200 has. Also have a little box I will cut open. See what's in here. In this box, we have a uh, Phillips head screwdriver for the assembly process. We have a USB port, or sorry, not a USB port, a USB cable. We have the adapters in a set for the, and screws to secure the propellers to the motors. And we also have three gimbal dampers. And then I'll take the unit out itself. Here's the flying platform. It's surprisingly light. And some of the other pieces of the case out, which we'll look at in a second. Make sure the case is empty. Doesn't look like there's anything else in there. That's the empty case. That's a flying platform. We'll take the case and figure and some silica that just fell out of the box. Put that on the side. So this is your platform. The props extend like this. And this gets folded over and twisted. Can't, you may not be able to see it, but there's a nice little line that shows you that's already that's fully locked into position. This little indicator here, which we will do show in more detail in a future video little indicator here that shows you that it's locked. Looks like it doesn't matter which side you put those on. And there you go. It's surprisingly light, um, shockingly light. The uh, feet will go on at a later date into these ports here. You have the gimbal mount in the front. As you can see, bring it down this way. You have your first person view camera, your gimbal mount. This gimbal mount out of the box is going to work with the X5S um, uh, and the X4S. And then with a gimbal adapter supplied by DJI, it will also work with the uh, Zenmuse XT. And in this current condition, it will also work with the Z30. That's, oh, one more thing. We also have the instruction manual and relative manuals. And then some the uh, battery materials and decals and stickers for the batteries so you can properly pair them. That's everything within the Trees 200 series. Uh, please. Check our channel, subscribe for uh, some other offers, and also please um, look forward to a future video of the assembly process, some flights, um, and some other tips and tools that we find along our way with this new flying platform. Thanks again from ABJ Jones.